All right, guys. Today we're going to just do a quick review on Khan Academy and JavaScript of how to create an ellipse. Now, remember, our tag ellipse will help us create ovals or circles. So let's give this a try. Now, before we begin, uh, just a quick review. Remember, guys, over here on the left-hand side of our screen, we're going to be able to type our lines of code. Over here on the right side, remember, this is called our canvas. This is where our objects will show up. Remember, our canvas is broken up into 400 pixels along the x-axis. Remember, the x-axis goes from the left side to the right side. That's our x-axis. Zero being on the left-hand margin, 400 being on the right margin. And then we also have 400 pixels along the y-axis. Zero up here at the top, 400 all the way down here at the bottom. Again, that's our y-axis. Okay, so for today, I would like to create a circle that is in the exact center of the canvas. And I'd like this circle to be, let's say, uh, 300 pixels. Okay, so now let's uh, get this thing started. As we all should, or hopefully remember, the tag to create a circle or an oval is the word ellipse. An ellipse is spelled E L L I. P -S -E. Now I put in our parentheses. Now remember, our first value is the x-axis, where we want it located. And remember, that again is along the x-axis, and it's measured from the left-hand side into the canvas. Now remember, since our canvas is 400 pixels, the exact center is at 200. So my first value is going to be 200. Place my uh, comma. And now, since I want the y value to be, again, an exact center of our canvas, that is also going to be 200 pixels, or 200. Now, what we're going to do next here, I'm going to create a, a very large circle. So what I would like this circle to be, I'm going to make it uh, 300 pixels wide. Remember, our third value is the width or the diameter of the circle. So I'm going to place this at 300. That's another comma. And since I want it to be a circle, meaning that it's equal um, on all, or it's equal around, I'm going to have it at 300 also. And then I hit my semicolon. And notice now the diameter is 300 on all angles of our circle. Okay, so that is our uh, first circle here, and hopefully that makes uh, sense. What I'm going to do next here, I'm just going to enter twice. Again, I like to enter twice a lot of times just so it gives me a little bit more room. And what we're going to do here, I'm, we're going to add some eyes and a mouth to this so we can start making a face. So next thing I'm going to do, we're going to place an eye over here on the left side of the face and an eye over here on the right side of the face. And then I just want to add a, an oval for a mouth. Okay, so let's check this out. Um, let's give you an opportunity here to create another ellipse. So I'm going to go ellipse. And this time, well, I know the exact center is uh, 200. I know uh, 100 is probably going to be right about here because this is a zero. So I'm going to say, let's bring this in at 100 pixels. Next thing, I'm going to bring it down about 150 pixels. Let's see where that takes us. Because I know right in the center would be 200, so a little bit up. Now I'm going to pause here because I want you to de determine what you want your eyes to look like. I'm going to make mine a little bit wider than taller. I'm going to pause and let you start putting in your values for the width, which will be the third value, and then the height, which will be the fourth value. So I will pause for a moment. Now, hopefully you were able to create your eye, but I'm going to make my eye about 75 pixels wide. Actually, let's, I'll use some even numbers, make it a little bit easier for you guys. Maybe 60 pixels wide and maybe 30 pixels tall in height. And there you go. There's my first eye. Now, you're probably saying, well, it's a little bit over here to the left side of the face, uh, a bit too much for me. So remember, that's our first value. That is our x value. So I'm just going to slide it over a little bit to the right. And I'm going to use my number scrubber to do that. 
So I'm going to click on my number scrubber. I'm going to drag it over a bit, maybe to 125. That looks perfect for me. Now I'm going to create another uh, ellipse here to make the second eye. I'm going to go ellipse. And this time, I'm going to um, make mine maybe, let's say, another 100 pixels over. So as you can see up here at the top, I have 125. That's how far the center of this first eye is from the left margin. So I'm going to add another 100 pixels. It'll probably show up right around here, I hope. So let's say 225. Let me get rid of this O nose. And since I want it to be the same distance down from the top, I'm going to use again 150. So they are symmetrical. And again, I'm going to use the same numbers. I'm going to say it's 60 pixels wide by 30 pixels tall or height. And there you go. Now again, this one, not quite far enough over. So what should I do? And guys, you could have figured this out mathematically. Uh, I'm going to move this over using the number scrubber, but I'm going to also show you another way to do this or that you could have done this. There you go. They are symmetrical. As you can see, now a little hint here. We know that we brought this eye 125 pixels over from the left hand margin. Well, what if we just did some basic math? Since we know over here at the right hand margin is 400 pixels, what if we subtracted 125 from 400? And then you would notice we get 275. So then you know mathematically they are symmetrical. Hopefully this helps out. All right, now uh, I'm going to pause again. What I would like you to do is let's add a mouth. Now it doesn't need to be uh, you know anything special, but I would like the mouth to be in the center of the face. Okay, you determine how far down the canvas you want the mouth to be. We'll pause here for this. Okay, hopefully you were able to get this fourth ellipse uh, started. I'm going to place this fourth ellipse. Uh, I'm going to say exactly 200 because it'll place it right in the center of the face. And I'm going to bring it down 300 pixels. Let's see what this looks like. And for my mouth, I'm going to have a wider than taller. So I'm going to say 100 pixels wide by 50 pixels tall. And there's the mouth. All right, not too bad. I do like that it's in the center. I also like the distance down from the top 300, but I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. Maybe instead of 100, maybe I'll make it 150. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, now that we have our face and our two eyes that are symmetrically balanced, and we also have our mouth in here, See if you want to add anything else. Maybe you want to add some pupils to the eyes or add anything else to the image as needed. Hopefully this helped out. And don't forget, remember, whenever you're creating uh, shapes and JavaScript, especially our ellipses here, remember the very uh, our tag first off is ellipse. That'll make an oval or a circle. Our first value is the x-axis. Again, how far from the left side of the canvas into the center of your oval or ellipse. The second value is the Y value. How far down from the top edge of the Y or the top edge of the canvas coming down. The third value is the width of the oval or circle. And the last value is the height of the oval or circle. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. And we will um, continue with our next lesson. Take care, guys.